I realized that I was making all the same mistakes American business make by going for the growth. So I took 10 of my most important people and we went down to Patagonia, the real Patagonia, South America. And we walked around and then we'd sit down in a circle and we'd say, okay, what in the world are we trying to do here anyway? Not one of us had any degree in business. Not one had intended to be a businessman. We were all people with degrees in anthropology and biology and I had a degree in auto mechanics from John Burroughs High School. <laughs> so we had to sit down and, and talk about why we got into this place and this situation and what we're gonna do about it. So we sat down and said, okay, what are our values? And number one was quality because we're coming from making the best quality climbing equipment in the world and we wanted to make the best quality clothing. So we had to, uh, we had to identify what is quality for us. There were no books on what quality is in clothing. So, you know, we had to write a philosophy of quality and, you know, number one, it had to be functional and we had to have multifunctional clothes because we didn't want to own a lot of clothes. We wanted to have a ski jacket that didn't say ski all over it, but it, you can ski perfectly in it and then wear it on top of your suit coat in a rainstorm in Paris in the middle of the winter. And, uh, you know, another criteria for quality was don't chase fashion. We didn't want to make disposable clothes. And we wanted to cause the least amount of harm in making those clothes. One, one other value besides making the best quality product is we wanted to have flex time. So we wanted to be able to take off on, you know, three month expedition somewhere, not lose our job. And, uh, you know, I wrote a book on our business philosophy. It's called Let My People Go Surfing. <laughs> because we have a company policy that we don't care when you work, as long as the work is done. So if you're a serious surfer or powder skier or whatever, you don't go surfing. You don't go like, hey, let's go surfing next Thursday at two o'clock. <laughs> that's, that's what losers say. <laughs> you go surfing when there's surf. You go powder skiing when there's powder. And so, we wanted to have a job where we would be allowed to do that. And then we wanted to work with friends. We didn't want to work with MBAs and... <laughs> uh, you know, and we wanted to break the rules of business. I mean, there's, there's a lot of fun in breaking the rules. And uh, we didn't want to do it the way everybody did. Uh, and we wanted to blur the distinction between work and play and family. So we wanted to have our kids with us at work. We didn't want to just leave them at home. I, I got 70-something percent kids. And so, you know, we were bringing our kids in and putting them on our desk in a cardboard box. <laughs> that was just part of the deal. I had a lot of employees that are barefooted at work all the time. Who cares? All I care is that the work is done. And so to do that, you have to hire self-motivated, very intelligent people who know their job, and then you leave them alone. And uh, I had a psychologist come and visit us one time, and he did a study. He studied every single person working for us to see if they were in the right job, see if a right brain person is in a right brain job or not, and that kind of stuff. And he came up to me afterwards and he, he said, you know, I gotta tell you, um, you've got the most independent people I've ever seen working here. They're so independent that they're unemployable anywhere else. <laughs> uh, So that's what we do. I mean, right now at Patagonia, for every job opening, we have an average of 900 applicants. 
So we can pick and choose from the very, very best people and the last criteria is, do we want to go to dinner with these people? So it's one big family, which is good and it's bad because it's hard to fire anybody.